Well, the cold of winter has passed, the allergy-inducing hell of spring is now gone, and so we are here in the summer season, a time where we can finally go out and just enjoy life. But, nah, I'm good. I think I'm gonna watch anime this summer. Won't you join me, universe? What's up guys, welcome to the web first must see comic and nerd culture show, welcome to the comic universe. I'm Dr. J, I've got a PhD in nerd culture, and I should know, I printed it out myself. What's up guys, it's Dr. J here, and as you can see I'm riding solo here on this video. And of course, you see the hat, you know the subject matter, we are talking about anime, but we are going to try something different with this summer season, and I'm actually going to do what a lot of anti-tubers do around this time, and basically tell you guys what I will be watching for the summer season of anime for 2019. Now, this is just going to be my personal anime watch list. Feel free to share yours in the comments down below. Give me any recommendations, any you'd like to see me cover, either on the channel or on my personal channel. And also, this is kind of a precursor to let you guys know what I'll be watching because I'll actually be doing a series here on Comic Universe. It's kind of like a lightning round version of my regular reviews that I do on my main channel, Mr. J's Reviews, which you definitely go check out if you haven't already. But uh, on Comic Universe, I'll be doing kind of a condensed version that's spoiler free and it's more of like a lightning round edition giving my quick thoughts on all the anime in like one week, kind of just a roundup type style. We'll see how that goes. If you have any suggested names for that segment, feel free to let, let me know in the comments as well. So we're going to go ahead and start off by talking about the shows that I will be watching this season. I'm only watching a small handful of shows. I'm not watching everything. I'm not that much of a masochist or a masochist at all for that matter. But let's go ahead and get started by talking about Fire Force. This was one that I had heard great things about and once I saw the preview of this season I really wanted to check it out basically Fire Force is about like a group of Tokyo firefighters and in this world there are fires that are actually caused by human spontaneous combustion which is caused from demons possessing humans and causing the to spontaneously combust and our main character it seems has the ability to manipulate and control these fires while still retaining his humanity so that's really interesting I definitely want to check it out it looks really cool I'm super excited and it's being handled by David Productions and if you know Jojo I know you're familiar with David Productions so I definitely got to give this one a shot so that's Fire Force Moving on from Fire Force, we are going to be talking about the anime that I am probably the most hyped about for the summer season, mostly because I just got into manga recently, and that is of course Dr. Stone. Yeah, like I said, I just got into the manga relatively recently, and man, I cannot wait to see this animated. Dr. Stone is such an interesting premise. Let me go ahead and tell you what that's about. So, Dr. Stone follows a super genius high schooler named Senku and his friends Taiju and Yuzoreha. I'm pretty sure I mispronounced Yuzoreha or whatever her name is. So basically, Senku and his three friends and their journey to survive in a world that has been petrified because basically one day the entire world was turned to stone. And then, 3,000 years later, Senku was able to depetrify. And then, a few months later, he was able to get his best friend Taiju free as well. His friend Taiju eventually broke free. And so, they have to essentially restart civilization and get civilization back to a modern equivalent through the power of science. That's right, folks. 
we are basically going to be watching an anime equivalent of a playthrough of Civilization. They literally have to start through the Stone Age. And it's pretty freaking awesome, if I do say so myself. Like I said, I've read the manga, I'm really into it, and I cannot wait to see this animated. This is definitely high up there on my list in terms of the summer anime uh, coming this year, and probably the reason why I wanted to do regular anime reviews on my channel in the first place. So I'm really looking forward to checking out Dr. Stone, and I hope it turns out good. Moving on. The next anime I'll be watching this season is of course gonna be Vinland Saga. Now this is one where I have heard nothing but great things about the manga and I cannot wait to check that one out. I've heard plenty of like berserk comparisons when talking about this manga and if you're comparing this to berserk which is arguably one of my favorite manga of all time, or my favorite shows of all time, excluding the CGI abominations that came out in 2016 and 2017. Yeah, that is a tall order. And, you know, I looked at the trailer. It looks pretty awesome. It gives me that dark, not fantasy. It doesn't look like it's going to be a fantasy series, but it looks like a dark, gritty historical drama almost but like in an anime format so basically it seems as though Vinland Saga is Vikings the anime and I am here for it I'm definitely gonna be checking it out the action looks pretty awesome I love the art style the music they used in the trailer really sold me on it I really think this could be a great one, although I don't think it will be as popular as some of the other anime that I'll be watching, because this show will actually be streaming on Amazon, and uh, Amazon is a streaming service where anime kind of go to die in terms of relevancy and popularity. I mean... I was like the only person, well not the only person, but I was of a handful of people that actually like regularly watched Banana Fish and I really enjoyed Banana Fish and I kept recommending it to people, but they were like, oh it's on Amazon. Come on y'all, you use Amazon as it is. If you have a Prime subscription, you have Prime Video. Watch it. It's good. Now, I can't, you know, say the same for Venland Saga just yet. I haven't seen it. It hasn't come out yet. But that trailer really does have me hyped. I do have some high hopes for this one. And I think this could be really awesome. So don't let the Amazon streaming fool you. I think this could be a great anime this season. So that's why I'm definitely checking out Venland Saga. But now let's go ahead and move on to the next show. All right, so now that we've got more of the action-oriented shows out of the way, let's talk about a couple of the comedies I will be watching in the summer anime season. And the first comedy I'll be talking about is Dumbbell Non Kilo Moteru, or How Heavy Are Those Dumbbells You Lift, or How Many Kilos Are Those Dumbbells You Lift. But I feel like the Japanese name is way less of a mouthful, so... We are going to try and just call it by that, even though I probably butchered the pronunciation of the Japanese name, because I'm just an otaku, not a weeb, alright? There's a difference. So, moving on, let's talk about the show. So, apparently the premise is about this high school girl who is a foodie. She loves food, she's got a big appetite, and she sees that she's getting a little bit more on the chubby side. Not to a crazy extent, but one of her friends like makes a joke about it, and that spurs her on to join a nearby gym. And this is where she comes across a girl from her grade who, I kid you not, this says this in the synopsis, has a muscle fetish, and she encourages her to try to lift. And so, basically, it looks like this is a etchy comedy moe show about cute girls 
weight training. And you know what? This looks like it could be fun and hilarious. And let's all be real. We all need a little fan service in our lives. It's the summer season, man. Of course, a lot of us are going to want to, you know, work out to get the summer body and all that jazz. The same usual stuff we say every year to ourselves. So, this could be us doing it vicariously through cute anime girls. And I realize I should phrase that entirely differently, but I'm going to keep that in there anyway because I am a man of culture. All right. Now we're going to move on to the next show. So, the next comedy I'll be talking about that I will be watching in the summer 2019 anime season is called Tejina Senpai, or Magical Senpai. And I'm not going to lie to you guys, the main reason I want to watch this show is because I've got a thing for magician girls. I mean, come on. You see her. You see the poster. She's dressed similar to classic Zatanna and if y'all have seen my previous I Ship It video talking about Batman and Zatanna, y'all know my thoughts on Lady Z. Zatanna is a top tier waifu and if you disagree with me, you're wrong. <laughs> you're objectively wrong. That's all I can say. But man, I'm... I'm really excited for this one, and it's a short form, so it's only like 15 minutes long, so it's just, you know, a quick little bite. It says that our main character finds out that his school requires him to join a club, and so he stumbles upon the Magic Club, and its president and one of its only members is a girl older than him who is talented at magic, but has stage fright, and now that she has an audience in our main character, it kind of turns all her attempts at magic into nothing but pure comedy, and I'm sure some very suggestive situations. So, I'm here for it. It's got magician girls and anime tatas. Two of my favorite things. Cause I mean, come on, y'all. How many of y'all who grew up on original Yu-Gi-Oh did not have a crush on Dark Magician Girl. Come on, Dark Magician Girl, don't lie to me. I know, I know, it's okay. Doc J ain't here to judge you because I'm right there with you fellas and or ladies. And that's why I'm gonna be checking out Magical Senpai this season. Last but certainly not least, the final anime on Dr. J's anime watch list for summer 2019 is the only sequel series for this particular season, and it's a series that has been on hiatus or just kind of, you know, on break that ended like literally four years ago. I think it came out in like 2015, correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, but that series is of course Don Machi. Or is it wrong to pick up girls in a dungeon? And the answer is no. It is not wrong. Because Hestia is bestia. That's right, folks. Don Machi is finally back. And for those of you who aren't aware of what Don Machi is, Don Machi is a series that takes place in a fantasy world where the gods have come down from heaven to live on Earth, sealing their divine power away, and they select people who they deem worthy and strong to be part of their familia or their family where they get special blessings and whatnot and they serve as adventurers and they clear this dungeon this super expansive multi-floor tower and they get rewarded with you know prizes weapons honor glory the usual dungeon crawler type stuff and our series mainly follows Bel Carnell, who is a rookie adventurer who is part of the Hestia Familia and his quest to grow stronger, become a hero, and prove himself to the world. And what his epic story and adventure has in store. I absolutely love the first season of Don Machi when it first came out, and actually, I just recently put up a review of season one of Don Machi on my main channel. If you want to go check that out or need a recap in full detail about Don Machi season one, I'll leave the iCard 
up here somewhere. I don't even know which side of the screen it'll be on, so I'm going to point in both directions just to be safe. But yeah, Don Machi Season 2, I'm super looking forward to. I cannot wait. I really hope JC staff brings their A game. I know the director changed, so I'm a little bit scared, but still hopeful. I, I really enjoy Don Machi, so I cannot wait to see this. And the movie's coming out in America probably sometime next year. I know it came out this year in Japan, but I can't wait for the movie as well. Super excited for more Don Machi. Uh, but that pretty much wraps up my list. Let me know, are there any anime that I did not mention that you guys are checking out that maybe you want to hear me talk about? Let me know all those in the comments down below. What is your list? What do you think of mine? Let me know in the comments down below as always. Don't forget to Hulk smash that like button like you mean it and be sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you can become one of Earth's mightiest subscribers today. I really appreciate that. And if you hit that notification bell, you'll get notified every time myself, DPZ, or C Dubs upload new content. And we've got plenty of stuff for you guys. And, you know, you guys know me. I'm mostly here for TV and anime content. You got you know, Dubs and Zilla for the comic stuff. You know, and together we make a wonderful universe. And hopefully, you'll join the universe today. Uh, and like I said, once the anime season starts, I'll be doing a lightning round version of my individual in-depth reviews here on Comic Universe. But if you want to hear full, spoilery anime reviews that go more in-depth about the episodes when the season starts, definitely go check out my channel, Mr. J's Reviews, because that's where I'll be doing individual episode reviews for all the anime that I've mentioned in this video. But until next time, guys, this is Jay from Mr. J's Reviews for the comic universe, and hopefully I'll see you guys next time in the universe. Johnny.